Well, here's the big test for Beacon. The Bulldogs get seven wins erased from their season right after the Dwayne Davis Memorial Tournament that they won. How do they respond? Well, they came out and they beat Sleepy Hollow. Great. Now they have to play Lords, arch rival from Dutchess County. This is where we see what kind of character these Beacon players have. Not lessons just for this season, but life lessons for these young men who will have to learn how to turn adversity from a negative into a positive throughout their lives. What greater tests than this here today?
Well, I don't know. I was expecting to see a little bit more of a heated contest, but uh, you seem to nullify him right from the get-go. Yeah, you know, I was expecting a, a little bit tighter game also. Um, and then when, especially because we knew Alex was going to play. So, you know, that, that changed everything because we really didn't know the status of him. But, you know, our kids executed both at the offensive end and the defensive end. And I think, um, you know, we wore him down a little bit and then we took advantage of it because they got a little bit sloppy after we took a, we got a little bit of separation. We've had a lot of challenges and we just, we have to rebound. Uh, we have, you know, now at this point we have eight games left and, and we have to make sure that we're taking care of business down the stretch so that we don't find ourselves fully backed into a corner. Before the game, we had like a long talk about like, like their situation. So we thought they were going to come out like intensity, like strong and like push the ball against us. But then like when I hit the three, I was feeling it. Then they found me again, I hit it again. Then I saw everybody was getting pumped up and they were like following my lead. Well, talk about pumped up. How about that dunk? Talk us through that. Oh, I did that before against Ketchum. It was, it really got the crowd psyched and I got my team up too. So like when I saw Aiden shoot it, I was like, oh, I got to time this perfectly. And then with my luck, it came to me and I got to put it right back in. Midway through the season, I don't know if you have freshmen anymore, the way you're playing. But uh, just talk about today's game. You had some good quality baskets, some good looks at the baskets, some good defensive play. You played a well-balanced game. Thank you. Um, yeah, we've been working on a 3-2 all week. I've been working on the baseline more, getting hard work. I, I thank Malik and Corey, all of them giving me hard work and just getting good laps and getting good work in all week. All right, so just tell me, what the heck happened in the first half? You scored no points. In the first half, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't really focusing on the first half. I was just rushing all my shots. I don't know, the ball wasn't really going in for me. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't there for me in the first half. I said to coach, I said, you know, James was really kind of like non-existent in the first half. He said, James is never non-existent because it was because of you, the reasons that the other guys were able to score so much. Yeah, in the first half, if I wasn't scoring, I thought, thought to myself, why not just play better defense? And I played defense, like, kicked it out, did all, my, did all what I was supposed to do, and it was just overall good for the team.